I'm Harry. And I'm Richard. Hey, it's Dead Dex. Yeah. Dead Dex. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah. Late night, Dead Dex. Late night, yep. We're uh, deep into our shooting session for the day. We're about uh, nine hours <laughs> in. <laughs> so it's where the fun part starts. Um, uh, so, yeah. What are we looking at? What are we doing today? What are we talking about? Hey, we're talking about this shit you got on the table. Oh. Hockey. Hockey. Oh, I don't want to cut these. Yeah, don't cut these motherfuckers. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, uh, we're starting off with the expansion part of playoff hockey one on one. Uh, I've been chasing and collecting uh, the ultra rare gold cards that are pretty ultra rare. You know, a lot of a lot of companies call stuff that they insert ultra rare, and they don't really mean it. Uh, playoff hockey one on one challenge really means it. They mean it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and even the expansion, they're, they're easier to come by, but they're still relatively hard to find. Now, you'll see here I have quite a few duplicates, you know, so I've managed to find several of even the big name guys, but I'm the, the, the no name, and none of these were really no name guys, but the no name guys for this set, a little hard to find. I've got two more of these on the, on the way that I do not have. Which will leave me too shy of having a complete set of the expansion. Um, there's t well, I thought I knew how many cards there were in the expansion set, and I completely <laughs> forgot. Uh, I want to say it's fifteen, but I'm not certain on that. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't remember now. So, Ultra rares. Yeah, on That's the a, yeah. on the expansion. I know the the base set, which we'll get to here in a second, is forty of them. Twenty in the boosters, twenty in the starters. In the expansion, they only had boosters, and as far as we could tell, they were only retail. We don't find very many of the, uh, well, personally, we've only acquired one sealed booster pack of the expansion. Yeah. And we don't see very many bulk lots of the expansion either. So, you know, commons, uncommons, and rares. Well, you see a lot of those in the base set. But, ironically, you see a lot, I see a lot more of the ultra rare Expansion cards versus the base set. So I don't know how all of that works. Uh, if you have any ideas, I'd appreciate knowing. Uh, speaking of which, if you have any of these cards for sale, I'd be interested in buying them. Whether I have them or not, base or expansion, uh, my goal is to acquire as many of them as possible. So uh, if you have any of these, and if you have any other kind of cards you want to sell, um, we obviously buy a lot of dead card games, but you know some other card games as well. Feel free to email us at deaddex at deaddex.com. You can be found in below in the description down here. Oh, Ooh, we're not down, down there. there. Don't go. Ooh. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, tickle me down there. Uh, 13 is what uh, thirteen uh, says. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll be two shy, so I'll have 11 unique by the time I get those other two in. They're still so I'm on the way. So for the set. Yeah. So oh, yeah. anyway, yeah. So if you want to, if you want to sell cards, deaddex at deaddex.com. So here, it's, it's, this is my what I have on the base set so far. And again, you'll see I have a few duplicates, you know. There's a couple of uh, Ray Borks, including one that Richard got me for a dollar, which I was highly appreciative of. Um, got two Wayne Gretzky's, which I don't, you know, I don't know if I mentioned, but I had three, four, four, four Wayne, Gretz yeah. Wayne Gretzky's of the expansion and four, four Mario Lemieux's and two Patrick Wars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on a base, you know, a couple Borks, two Gretzky's, Three holes. But everybody else only got pretty much one of. But I do have a PSA 9, which is nice, of Mario Lemieux. Pepe Lemieux. Pepe Lemieux. And uh, the most recent one I saw listed on eBay wanted $145 for a raw copy, which to me is way too high. But um, anyway, this is going to be a very long video because, I mean, I mean you've, you've seen the, what I have. It's not a lot. Uh, but I do want more. So if you got them, hit me up. And if you got other stuff to sell, hit us up. Deaddex at deaddex.com. Yeah, we like cards. Yep. And uh, just for a bonus, uh, here's a few uh, cult promos I have in this binder. These are nice. the French version promos. They just happen to be in this binder. I think, well, the only thing, the only other things I have in this binder are uh, some Dark Age foils. So two foils and a promo. Clear GM promo. Anyway, um, or, yeah, Death CCGs. If you like good binders, by the way, these Ultra Pro Pro binders are great, but it's a big but here. 
you plan on moving your cards around a lot, these pages do not move. So you must remove every card and rearrange it. But if you're gonna have a dedicated binder and you already know what's gonna be in it, these are fantastic because they're side loaded, they're padded on the back, you can put your cards in a penny sleeve and they still fit in. So, yep, yeah. there's my <clears throat> endorsement of the day. Yeah, it's great for randoms. Uh, it's great for displaying sets that are yeah. really completed. Or even, you know, a couple we've got where we have leave gaps where we know there's a few cards we still need. Right. So. But if, yeah, if, you're, if you're continually expanding, uh, I'm not personally a big fan of the ring binders just because of potential damage that can be involved. Yeah, you can be careful and all that. I understand. I'm just still not a big fan of them. But if you wanted to be, if you want to expand consistently, then... It's likely your best avenue unless you're going to do top loaders and stuff like that. So, anyway, that's fuck, that's enough. All right, well, how'd you do, dude? Good enough. Yeah, buddy, you did. <laughs>